Four different temperature. Got two REM pods out and two temperature boxes. And there should be no reason why they're that far apart from 15 and a half to 17. So I'm just going to set this up and then see if the REM pod will be affected. blue box here on the left is just spiked so there should be well we're about five or six foot away from them yeah oh good had loads of stuff come through loads of things written down so we'll we'll i'll pop that up on the page later on blue box on the left is at 16 15 3 on the temperature 17 on this black one and the one at the back there is on 16.2. So next five minutes, I just want to see if they're settled down and gone close to each other. Hi, Louise. I'm just going to go and finish a brew, folks. So uh, be back in about three or four minutes. Just I'm going to set the camera up a bit higher there. Try and level it off for you. There we go. There we go. Just add a spike though on the electric behind me. So there's something on the left hand side has just clicked. So that might affect that. So we'll see if it happens again. Yeah, we've had stuff from uh, like a stately home. Had stuff coming back from 1600s, 1645s tonight, and uh, 1887. And um, what else have we had come through? Uh, there's, there's two portals in here. We're in between the two portals at the moment where we are. Hi, Pete. Uh, we've had Angel come through quite a lot, haven't we? Yeah, we've just had Are You OK come through. Yeah, mm. OK. Um, a lot of communication straight away from... We haven't even got out the cafe area, have we, really? No, from, and uh, this down here is the more active areas yeah. as well, and the toilets. We've not been in there yet. We've had banging as well, haven't we? And Lots like, of tapping. Like, as if the door was shutting, but we couldn't actually... We were miles away from where we heard that, it just felt... If there was a car outside or anything, or like it was like a lorry closing the door, that's how it felt. And mm. um, just trying to think what else we've had. We've had a witch come through, and she was virtually see a virtually like skeleton face, as if she burnt at the stake, as if her skin was melting, wasn't it? As well, but back from the time she was from 1645 ish, uh, it's just spiked that, but the box clicked over there behind me. So, the timer or something might have clicked, or something. Elect something electrical click there, it, and then, it could just then be it, it spiked there. Yeah, it could be CCTV. Okay. Hi, Lee. He's on. Lee Bliss. Oh, hi, Lee. Uh, Peter Foxtrot. Look forward to Tuesday or Wednesday night. I can't remember. My daddy's at home. I'll have an hour catch up and a chat. Uh, feel an old lady about you, Gary. Okay. No, that's just Rachel. She's just come in the room. <laughs> <laughs> you see what's been nice to me you've just eaten all my snacks I know yeah I'm <laughs> sorry for opening your crisps and divulging them 
So. Give me a favour. I'm sat in the gym eating crisps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sat in the gym. She doesn't feel bad sitting in the gym eating crisps. Just watch, watch, watch. I have coffee though. Lost soul paranormal. Get on to it. Can you make a noise in, in the room here to all right? Can you make a noise in here for us somewhere? Knocking, tapping. No, no, there was a knock. Hello, Jennifer. Picked up on a witch like a, an old Welsh lady in Shrow. We definitely can relate to the Shrow, can't we? Did you hear that again? Did you hear that? That banging? Yeah. Was that not them? No. Squallin, are you banging? Are you banging up there? <laughs> did the male die of a heart attack? Yes, he did. Yes, he did, Jennifer. Yes, the male did die of a heart attack. He had three specific jobs as well. I can actually show you the specific spot in which he died as well. Oh, can you? I can. When we go back up that way, I'll show you. Yeah, but when we take the camera back up, we'll actually show you the spot where the male died. Yeah, he died on the spot of a heart attack. Just up there. It wasn't why the gym was open, was it? It wasn't, I don't no, think that long right. ago, it was probably... Right, I'm just going to grab me brew, I'll leave you with the wench, I mean the witch, I mean... Go away, Gary. Rachel. Behave. I'm not going to do anything untoward. Uh, behave. Hold off. Yeah, trust in me. Don't, don't, uh, break me. He's the one with all the sounds, you foxes. Hi, Sharon. He's about as funny as syphilis, Lee, honestly. So this is the bottom end of the gym, and just through the door at the back is another small room, and it's slightly underground. So I'm going to take him in there. He was a gate man. Where are you? We're at a secret location tonight. Uh, we're at a gym, but the owners have asked us not to disclose which one it is. Um, not everybody likes to work out in a haunted gym. So this is just the, uh, the cardio room down here. And then through the wooden door just at the bottom end there, that's the spin room. And that's a quite active room, so we're going to go and lock Gary in there shortly. Hi Jacqueline, Gary's just gonna offer a coffee and just still more snacks. So we've got Kate who's asleep on the carpet. She's having a power nap. Power nap on the carpet. <laughs> so the reason why we sat down this end is we were also having a coffee up at the top end of the room and one of the REM pods was going crazy. So we came down and it just kept dropping the temperature by four degrees and then it would stop and the noise would stop and then the temperature would drop again and we'd hear the buzzing. So we brought down a, a little bit more equipment and set up there. A little square. Gary doesn't mind getting... Oh, there we go. Can you come towards this device again? Can you walk towards us? Can you drop that temperature in there for me, please? And you're right, Sharon. No, Gary doesn't have a choice. He will get locked in the room. <laughs> People are picking him up, wasn't it? The one who had a heart attack when they were working out, but not feeling well when they feel... Okay, he still snacks. He just always still snacks. <coughs> <coughs> We've all been affected with our throats tonight, haven't yeah. we? It feels like mm -hmm. a, a choking feeling. <clears throat> Do 
Can you make some lights flash in there for me, please, like you did before? You seem to like the idea of us locking Gary in the spin room. Should we do that? <laughs> Thank you. We'll do that if you like. Would you like us to lock him in there? Can you die alone in pain, moving about? Uh, from what we can gather from research, he just died on the spot. One minute he stood there, next thing clutching at his chest, and he, he died almost instantly. Are you the gentleman that died of the heart attack? Did you pass away in this building? Was anybody here with you when you passed away? Blame William or Bob with this place. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, what a way to go. So, what was this building before, Kate? It was um, a garage for tractors and agricultural machinery. So, uh, like a farmer's. Yeah. yeah, so like a farmer's. Were you a farmer? Did you own some land nearby? Was your name William or Bob? Is it William? That looks like William William. <coughs> he was the gates man. Have people felt dizzy or flushed while in the gym? I think there's how about yeah. Kate's nodding. Definitely dizzy, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people feel dizzy. In fact, Gemma Are you are you making people feel dizzy in that room there? Gives people headaches and nausea. Can you come a little bit closer to it and see if you can make the lights flash for me, please? A little, little closer. Don't be afraid, it's not going to hurt you. Uh, shall we be turning the lights off shortly? We've just stopped for a coffee. Um, the reason why we've come down to this end is, as we're all sat up in the cafe area, uh, we could hear the <coughs> rim pod going off. So we've come down and bought a little bit more equipment. Uh, we've changed batteries and we've checked the equipment and everything is working perfectly so um, we're getting some, some pretty good response down here. Can you come closer? Can you come a little bit closer? Yeah, we'll be going lights off soon. We're going to go back to the, the cafe in a little minute. Would you mind if we showed everybody the place where you passed? Is that okay? Not sure, both ends of it. Moved to our side. Is it okay to show, to show everybody exactly where it was that you passed? We don't mean any disrespect. Can you please come a little bit closer? Try and make those lights flash for me. Also, they're just looking, the cat ball, which is, just gonna see if my pointy finger, that always camera is, it's not an iPhone, so I'm so confused. There, we have a cat ball there, and that's actually moved, it's not in the spot where I left it. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna have a look. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Oh. Walking all the way around. Kate's just going to go check out why the ball's moved. It was on the logo at the top. Yeah, I'd left it on the logo. Do you just want to go near that REM pod and see if there's... Hmm. 
Move that out of the way, Misty. See if it works if it... See if it... it it's still going off. Okay, we're going to go back up to the, the cafe area now. It's going absolutely crazy. Right, let's go see what everyone else is doing. Okay, we'll be back shortly, okay? I'm going to bring something that you can speak to us through. up so we're going to show we're just going to show you the spot where this gentleman passed away okay that's a oh, kevin. Kevin. kevin kevin and wasn't it just here right there. so it's just here right there, right there. here's the entrance rem pod's still going crazy down there there we go there's the entrance and this kevin is where Gabriel, watching over here, stop. Have you finished your coffee? We're good yeah, to go again? A bit like your football team. What is that? Dumb. Did it say dumb? I'm sure it did. Definitely talking about your football team. No. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go again. What you said about the gentleman hitting the floor. Mm -hmm. And you did say we'd go down, didn't you? you know what I mean? Right, all good. Ready to go, wedges. No uh, wedges. <laughs> He's going to end up with no teeth. Or well, no false ones, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's flashing his teeth. What's that symbol mean? Hell. <laughs> what? Hell. No, um, it's a uh, book for home protection. Oh, right. Is that from what? So they're all, they're all like in rooms. Yeah. yeah. I've just been using them. It just dropped them, right? Yeah, they can be used as uh, like a more savvy spec as well. And some interesting so, energies there as well. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Cheers, Richard. We are going to go and uh, crack on, and uh, we'll catch up with you later on. Lights out. Lights out. Lights out. Snacks again, though. Snacks again. There's Gary's left like four What have you What have you uh, enjoyed up to now? Have you enjoyed the evening? The flare was quite interesting, wasn't it? The flare. Yeah, there's some really good stuff on the flare. Um, and then also Kate scratches the welts on her arms mm -hmm. as well. And the left arm. Catch up with you later, folks.